Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to create a power app to display a pop-up window. I'm going to show you how to create that. Uh, if you enjoy power apps, power automate, teams, and SharePoint videos, feel free to subscribe. because so I'll be creating more of those. Let's get into it. I'm just going to create a, an application. Uh, let's just be for your testing. And I, I'll assume that you guys know the basics of power apps, how to interact with the... Uh, the application if not there's videos on youtube that can help you out with that so it's kind of like an intermediate video all right so first i just need to get a gallery display some of the information some dummy data so i got my first gallery let me go ahead and connect a data source so in my case i'll use sharepoint for most of my data sources and i'll be using the marketing and then we'll use the grocery list because i'm pretty familiar with this list actually let's change the layout all right so this is just a sharepoint list displaying my grocery list nothing nothing fancy about it i'll go ahead and change some of the properties to make it look a little bit more appeasing so let me go ahead and create a label that will display what i've selected in the gallery and i like to rename all my uh, labels buttons text just so it's easier to work down the line. So this label is just going to be um, the selected. And I'll go ahead and change the text property to item selected is. Now I'll just kind of toss an and symbol in there and we'll do gallery one dot selected. And the food is actually under the title field. So just title. And as you can see. If I click on the gallery, it will change whatever I have in this text output. In this label, I mean. So let me go ahead and add a button that will create the, they'll bring all the pop-up windows up. This button will be, we'll name it remove. So when I click on this button, it's going to bring a pop-up window saying, hey, do you sure you want to remove this item? And I'll display the, whatever item selected. Have a yes button, a no button. And I'll have a few background rectangles just to make it look prettier. So I will show you how to do that. So let me go ahead and add all the components that I need for this pop-up window. So first I'm adding a rectangle. This is just the, just the background of the pop-up window, nothing fancy. I usually like to make it gray. So I'll select gray and I'll turn the opacity down to 65. Uh, we'll change it to actually 75, just so it looks a little bit better. So secondly, I'll have to add another rectangle and this will just display the information with the two buttons in the description. So I'll put that in the center and I'll change this. Oh, we'll do something fun. We'll go with green this time and I'll just rename these. So rectangle pop up background and this one will be rectangle pop up. So now I need a label to display the information. So we'll just toss in the center right here. And this will be, are you sure you want to remove this item? Let me toss the and symbol in there. And this will still be gallery one dot selected dot title. Cause that's the column field I'm working with. And that's where I'm selecting it from is gallery one on the side. So as you can see, uh, this matches up with what I have selected. So we'll make this bold to make it look a little prettier. So now I need to add two buns, but first let me rename this label. So label pop up message. Now I need to add two buns. Okay, so we will make this bun the yes bun. So yes, I do want to remove this record. The bun pop up. Yes. And then we'll have one pop up. No. Okay. And I will just rename this text. So I'll change this to yes. And I'll change this button to no. So since these are all um, within the pop up, I'm going to actually group them together. So home group. So these are all grouped up together. I'm just going to name it pop up. So since they're all grouped together, I can click on the group, go to visible and just turn this to false now. So I don't want any showing 
because I need to change the on select for this button. So when I select this button, I want it to change, change all the pop-up windows visible to true. So how do I do that? Click on the button, so button remove, the on select property. So we want to declare a variable here, and that's the set function. I'll just name the variable toggle pop-up, comma, and I want that variable to be true. Let me close that, and I'll just bring it down so you guys can see the formula. So I'm just declaring a variable here and setting it to true. So when I click this button, all those pop-up windows should appear. Before that, I want to go to the group and change the visible property of this whole group. So instead of false, I want it to be that variable. So pop-up. It doesn't have a value until I click on the button, and then it's, it's all going to be true now. So they'll all display. On the next step, for this no button, I want all these uh, components to go away. And to do that, so on select, I want to declare that variable, actually set that variable back to being false, which will hide all those components. So this will be toggle pop-up, false, close that out. Let me bring it down so you guys can see. So I'm just setting that variable back to false. And once I do that, they all disappear again because I'm cha I'm changing the visible property back to false, which will hide, hide all the components. I'll click on the button again. See they appear, click on no, they go away. All right, so let's work on this yes button. So on the select, I'm just gonna remove this, uh, this record from that SharePoint table. So it's the remove function, the data source. So this is grocery list, comma. So I wanna you do the item now, and this is gonna be gallery1.selected. So that's actually going to remove the, the selected item in my gallery from the SharePoint list. And I can't just do that because if I just did that, all the pop-up windows would stay on the screen. And I obviously want them to go away once they're done. So I want to set that variable back to false. So let's be toggle pop-up, comma, false. Then we'll close that out. No errors. Let me just go through it again. Uh, click on the button. This will actually change all the visible properties of this pop-up group to true. And as you can see, they're all showing. And if I click on yes, this is going to remove the record orange from my SharePoint list. And it's going to change all the visible properties back to false for this pop-up. Click on yes. As you can see, the data refreshed. And I currently don't have an item selected. And as you can see, that record was removed, so it was orange. If I just refresh this list, it's gone. And so yeah, pretty much just the visible property on all your pop-up windows, you want to declare that to a variable, and then uh, use the on select properties of your buttons to control it. And that is how you make a pop window within Power Apps. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. I'll probably make it more Power Apps videos uh, in the coming weeks. If you're into that, subscribe, and that'll be it for the video.